from the uh, beginning, it has been the new Republican leaders, uh, members I should say, who have been the biggest problem for their speaker John Boehner. For sure, they are not exactly household names, so we asked Jan Crawford to find out who they are and what has been motivating. The methods congressional leaders once used to strong arm members to vote the party line don't work with all the new freshman House Republicans. They aren't focused on compromise or even thinking about their own political future. They're here to cut spending. But I don't care enough about winning re-election, and I have to become something that I'm not in order to win. It's just not worth it. Four of the new congressmen are from South Carolina. Mick Mulvaney, Trey Gowdy, Jeff Duncan, and Tim Scott. They have been among the hardest votes for Speaker John Boehner to get. I think it's fair to say that each of us was offered something for our vote in the last couple of days over this. Now, as the debt ceiling debate heads to the brink, these holdouts hear what others in Washington are calling them. Neanderthals, That's intransigent, the radical, revolutionaries. Um, revolutionaries too? If but are you worried that, you know, that the, the narrative, you, you know, your refusal to go along could send the country into a spiral of default and plunging stock markets and escalating mortgage prices. What is one person's intransigence is another person's uh, deeply held convictions. With the pressure increasing, they look to one another for support. Thursday night, three of them met in a small chapel to pray. We spent some time talking and praying and, uh, and looking at the word for some, uh, some confirmation. Those deeply held convictions mean they won't be easily swayed. We're here to fix the system. We're not here to do deals for the sake of doing deals. That's what Washington has always done. That's why we're $14 trillion in debt. We're here to try and fix things. I've got three young boys, 16, 13, and 10, and I don't want them 10 years from now to say, Dad, when y'all were at the brink, what did you do? I don't want him to say, I don't want to have to answer them, I didn't do enough. Now, Bob, even though they have disagreed with John Boehner and voted against his plan, these four say they strongly support him, and they insist the government will still have the money to pay his bills and get checks to the seniors in the military, even if there's no deal by Tuesday. Okay, Jan, thank you very much.